So, you think you might have a killer product. Now it's time to find out if you have a good business. And what's the question most investors love to ask you first? What's your churn? What do they mean by this? If you think about all of the revenue or clicks or eyeball minutes you have today from all of your existing customers, and then you think about sometime in the future, how much revenue, clicks, eyeball minutes, whatever, will you have returned from just those existing customers? This number will be less for every consumer product in history, including oxygen. How much churn should you have in a given month? Is 3% okay? 5%, maybe 10%? What's a good number for a healthy consumer business? Here's what we think. F churn. This is one of the more misunderstood numbers in all of consumer investing. Think about it. Your consumers are thousands of different individuals at many different moments of their relationship getting to know you. Using one number over one period of time to show how all of those stories have changed totally misses what's actually going on underneath the data. So if churn doesn't work, what is the right way to think about the health of your consumers? We think the only way to think about true consumer health is to look at a graph of their engagement with you over the timeline of their relationship with you. On day one, almost by definition, your users are 100% engaged with you. It's the first date. They showed up for coffee and you had a conversation. What happens next gets a little more dicey. At some point in the future, no matter who you are, your consumers will be less engaged. Maybe it's on them. They didn't live near your store. They didn't like the food you served. Maybe they had some life event. They had a baby. Maybe it's on you. Maybe you don't make great conversation in your first date. Whatever the reasons, you're going to lose a big chunk of your consumers in the very early days as they're getting to know you. What's important to watch is what happens then. After they've had a chance to really get to know you, does the usage of some of your customers become highly predictable and stable over time? This asymptote is the most beautiful thing you could ever hope to see in a consumer business. It means some of your consumers have decided to marry you. This matters a whole lot more than whether or not you churned off a few of them in the days of your early dating. The exact level of this mature engagement may vary wildly from one product to the next, depending on seasonality, the type of the product, whatever. The point, again, is that it flatlines. The slope comes as close to horizontal as possible. You may even see for some products a bit of a smile. After customers have gotten a chance to know you over time, their engagement will actually increase a little bit before again flatlining. Not to be a bummer, but eventually we all churn. But other than major life events, you should never lose a loyal customer. Now, if after they've gotten to know you, you're still seeing your customer engagement decline more sharply, you may have a much bigger problem. Maybe your product is just getting stale. Maybe the novelty is wearing off. Maybe a competitor has come along and stolen your customers. Whatever it is, this is a big deal. New customer growth can actually mask the leak in this bucket for a while if you aren't looking at your cohorts, but eventually this will kill you if you don't fix it. Do not let this happen. Stop watching this silly video right now and go give your customers a hug. Figure out what the heck is going on. Make your product better. Put a loyalty program in place. Do whatever you can to straighten out that line. And as you've done that, for extra credit, as your onboarding improves, you should see your customer cohorts not only continue to flatline, but get higher and higher over time, as more and more customers have a chance to have a good first impression of you and stick around. All that really matters, all that we're saying, is that you need to find some set of consumers who fall madly in love with you and are with you forever. That flat line, that stable base of consumer, is the foundation upon which you can build a real consumer business.